wonder which DVD should I choose for my first review. I will be reviewing this one. Hey everyone, Agent Mike here, and welcome to Agent Mike's Movie TV Show Reviewer. And today, we're going to be reviewing... We're Back, A Dinosaur Story. This is one of my all-time favorite movies that I watched when I was a kid. This movie was released back in 1993 made by Universal in the wake of other highly acclaimed successful movies, Jurassic Park. Even my favorite movie director, Steven Spielberg, really does the job. So, of course, it's got four dinosaurs and two kids from New York. So, without any further ado, let's watch this movie. Hi! Oh, oh there, little fella. Where'd you fall from? No place. Just leave me alone. No place? Hey, ain't you a dinosaur? Why, yes. From tooth to toe, I am. Then what the heck are you doing playing golf? I'm smart, Buster. I'm one smart dinosaur. But I wasn't always. Okay. We're back. A Dinosaur Story. It's the movie I remembered. It's got great actors who voice the characters. John Goodman was the voice of the Tyrannosaurus Rex character simply named Rex. These things happen. My name is Rex. Hey, how did I do that? Jay Leno, the talk show host of The Tonight Show, was the voice of the small alien named Vorb. Through a lengthy process of random selection, your galaxy, your planet, your neighborhood... Newscaster Walter Cronkite was voiced as a scientist of the future, Captain New Eyes. ...species and all the planets have had to learn to get along, eh, Vorb? Whoa. Walter Cronkite, the famous news reporter. His always famous motto is, and that's the way it is. And the comedian actor Martin Short was the voice of the circus clown named Stubbs. You thought it was funny, huh? Oh yes, very funny. Oh yeah, I know Martin Short. He is voiced by a robot named Ben on Treasure Planet. That of course I will review that movie later. In this movie, Captain New Eyes traveled into the prehistoric past and with the help of the alien assistant named Vor, who feeds various dinosaurs with brain grain. Here before your very eyes, I have a product! A revolutionary product! You haven't seen stuff like this before! Brain grain cereal! <laughs> Take one bite, you'll have an idea! Take two bites, you'll have an hypothesis! Hypothesis? <laughs> you'll be smart! Comes in two flavors, regular or not enough. <laughs> Choose your poison, partner. You're gonna love this. Yes, sir. Now, brain grain 
It looks like cereal. But of course in the movie, <laughs> it may look like cereal. The dinosaurs become smart after they fed Brain Grain. They include a Tyrannosaurus Rex named Rex, a Triceratops named Woog, a Pterodactyl named Elsa, and a small dinosaur in the group, Dweeb. Now, Dweeb, the smallest dinosaur in the group, was, uh, was the word Dweeb comes from those kids uh, by saying, Dweeb, dork, Dweeb, dork. <laughs> it's kind of funny to enjoy. New Eyes wants to take the smart dinosaurs into the 1990s to make the kids' wishes and dreams come true. Rex! Why, Captain, that's me! That, that's me. I wish I could see one of those flying dinosaurs. <laughs> Why, that's me! I fly. I wish I could see a, an Apatosaurus. Golly, this is great! I wish I could see a Triceratops. I wish I could see more dinosaurs! Son of a gunnosaur! <laughs> Gee, I wish I had a friend. Friend, friend, friend. Ah, it makes me feel touching that uh, if Louis wishes he had a friend, same thing to mine back in my high school years. I kept saying to myself, I wish I had a friend, a real one. And back in my 10th grade year, I met someone, and I immediately befriended him. After all, friendship lasts a lifetime. Oh. It's a world covered with jewels. The dinosaurs agree, and as they arrive in New York City in the 1990s, they meet up with a young boy named Louie, who is running away to join the circus in Central Park. The dinosaurs befriend him and he starts to explore the city while he tries to keep them out of trouble. Other cool things about this movie? Welcome to New York City. New York City, of course. <laughs> Elsa flies Louie around the city to explore. Oh, there, right there. That's our ticket uptown. Let's hang a Louie and head on back. And eventually, he meets a female friend named Cecilia, who is also upset with her family and decides to go to join the circus with Louie. Alright, I will! Roll back the rock to the dawn of time When the earth was smoking and the lava flowed Roll back the rock to the dawn of time And at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, the dinosaurs sing the song Roll Back the Rock to the Dawn of Time. That was one of my favorites as part of the cool things about this movie. Turn back the clock. Roll back the rock to the dawn of time and sing this song with me. Eventually, they cause a little too much attention and get noticed. Cecilia, I think things ju just took a turn for the worse. They all get separated while the kids find the circus who runs by New Eyes' evil brother named Screw Eyes. Oh, was that your audience we passed coming here? Probably. Oh, yes. The scary circus. Now, the circus you see in We're Back, a Dinosaur Story, is not like the circus uh, from Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey and Cirque du Soleil. Oh no! It's the Screw Eyes eccentric circus. Where two kids uh, sign the blood button contract and be part of the circus indefinitely. Once the dinosaurs arrive, they agree to take their kids' places and be less than free. Of course, the eccentric circus was a very scary circus. We will frighten you. <laughs> the 
The dinosaurs remove their intelligence and place them in a scary circus instead. Louie and Cecilia are able to save their dino friends and return them to their previous smart selves and escape the circus and screw eyes. Now that the kid's safe and the dinosaur's free, the two kids get a closer relationship as they return to their families. Tell them all about it, Rex. <laughs> oh, Louie and Cecilia are quite the little couple now. And they made up with their parents. All right, gang, go for it. While the dinosaurs end up in a museum where they become a secret that only kids will know up and enjoy. Hi there. My name is Dwee. And I'm Rex. <laughs> Hi, I'm Max. Hi, Max. So, this will be our little secret, okay? Okay. My name's Nick. I'm Frank. Delightful, delightful. Really, just a recipe for delightful. And that's the way it is. And of course, uh, I haven't visited the American Museum of Natural History in New York. That's the place I really want to go in the future. So in my final thoughts for this movie, on a scale of 1 to 10, I grade this movie 7.5. How awesome is that? We're back. A Dinosaur Story is really a terrific movie that kids and adults would really want to enjoy. Buy it now. That's it for this week's movie review. Thank you so much. In the later episodes, I will read out viewer mail. If you have any questions about your favorite movies and TV shows, be sure to write at agentmikemtr at gmail.com. There's the email address on the screen. Also, visit Facebook at facebook.com and type Dragon Agent Productions and visit there every week for more content, view videos, leave a comment or suggestion, and don't forget to become a fan. This is Agent Mike saying... Booyah!